All right, another exciting trip in the Zenith 650 airplane with the 130 Viking engine. Now we have this airplane hanging in the ceiling, but I'd love to bring it down once in a while and get in it and fly it. We didn't build this plane, Roger Jennings did, but we do have our own Viking 130 engine in it, autopilot and all that, and getting in it, get to 6,500 feet, and watch it do 158, 160 true airspeed, sitting back, relaxing, and avoiding the weather is just absolutely a blast. So the purpose of this trip is to fly over and see uh, Merle, my friend Merle. Merle got a uh, 195 turbo from Viking and he has it in a Whitman Tailwind. Navigating Florida, of course, every day, morning and night, is getting around the weather. It's not hard, because you can see it out the window. And uh, in a little bit here, we're gonna land in Springfield, the other side of Florida. We'll meet Merle and see his airplane. And here it is, 195 horsepower, Whitman Tailvin, and there's Merle checking out his instrumentation before we're gonna do a run up. And we're here because Merle has a five bladed variable pitch propeller mated to the 195 engine. We're gonna do some dyno testing using the airplane and the propeller to add more and more and more pitch and see if we can get the engine happily running at low RPM maximum manifold pressure. So that's what we're playing with today. Here you can see Merle's own invention, which is his engine instrumentation. Merle's an electrical guy, much smarter than I am. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with a dyno chart, this is what it looks like. It's basically trying to get the ignition and fuel to be in the right place at the right time and the spark and the fuel to all agree to save the engine under demanding loads. Here we can look at installation that Merle did of the 195 in the Whitman Tailwind. It's a fantastic looking airplane. It has a very small, high performance wing. Uh, it has it is strut braced it has the with the famous Whitman landing gear Merle is a true experimenter here he built his own cooling pod that he added to the bottom of the airplane uh, we don't know if it's the most efficient way of doing things but it definitely is impressive and it is a first attempt and the airplane has flown with this and he's building up to more and more speed as you can see, it has a tiny little inlet down in front lower there. Then it has a divider part above it to streamline. And then he has a regular uh, way of regulating the exit of the radiator at the tail end of it. 